You made it. Hey, it's good to see you too. Don't ever fucking do that again. Hey, where did that come from? You owe me one. Soles of my sneakers nearly tore off trying to get to you. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. I thought I'd be scraping your guts off the fucking pavement, and you're sorry? Lon, I don't believe it. You were actually worried. <laughs> Shut up! Like I said, you owe me. My sneakers are ruined. I can literally feel the concrete scraping my feet. We need to get me a new pair. Well, they don't look that bad to me. You sure we don't have more important stuff to do? If it was their looks I was worried about, I would have trashed them ages ago. I risked a trickier route to get to your sorry ass faster, but the wind blew me into a broken banner. The fucking spikes were nastier than they looked. They were my last pair of intact shoes, Aiden, my soulmates in this dirty revenge-seeking business. Without them, I'm... Look. So, let's go. You want to go shopping for new sneakers, now? Is this some kind of joke, or...? Do I look like I'm joking? Luan, are you... Ah, oh, shit. <clears throat> Luan, it's not a sign of weakness to say you were worried. <laughs> Can you at least tell me where we're going? Aren't a lot of shoe stores open in the area, I bet. There's a place. Some of my old stuff might still be there. I thought all your stuff was at the fisheye. But I guess that's not where we're going. Just shut up and follow me. I, um... I have to tell you something. What? I didn't give the tower to Frank. Yeah, I know. You need to find your sister, right? You did what you did. I just want to get my sneakers back. Right. First things first. Back? Were they stolen? The one. Like, if you knew where your things were, why haven't you gone back to get them before now? See that opening? Apartment 216. Go look for a large red box with gold trim. That's where I stored my shoes. Aren't you coming with me? You're why my shoes are ruined. You get me new ones. Go inside, take the shoes, and leave. And don't touch anything else. Got it? I'm fine, chicken. I'm inside. Don't touch anything. Just get those shoes. What's in here that's got you so spooked? Wow, Luan. 
would have thought? Cool. <laughs> Wonder if it works. Our MIP. Hmm. <laughs> this is I'm not like the little one I know. A guy's boots? Hmm. It's a cozy place. Did you find them yet? I'm sorry. I don't see a red box anywhere. You dope? You're not looking hard enough. There's another room behind the plywood. Inhibitor container nearby. Almost, almost happy. Pretty cozy nest. You shared it with someone. Does he still live here or? Nobody lives there. Just find the fucking shoes and stop asking dumb questions. Why'd you ditch it for that den at the fisheye? Den is my home. I took all I needed with me. Except for the shoes, that is. Looks like they uh, spend a lot of time here. Hey, Luan, I found your shoes. Great. Now get the fuck out of there. Oh, but it's quite the love nest with the wine and the view and the music. I mean, I'm starting to see a whole new Luan here. And you know what? I don't blame this guy, whoever he was, for liking her. Fuck you, Aiden. I, I, I didn't... Luan, wait. What? Come on. Oh, you bastard. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out, even to the edge of doom. Oh, shit, Luan! Luan, are you there? Come on. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Just meet me on my rooftop. Get there and wait for me. You can give me the shoes and then fuck off. Who figures you'd end up at the place you go when you're pissed off?
Got your sneakers. You should also have this. I didn't realize you and Hakon had been together. Why do you think he's so high on my hit list? Yeah, that makes sense. Just because someone reads poetry doesn't mean they don't deserve to die. Did you guys break up because he abandoned Frank, or did he abandon Frank because you broke up? There's really no point in analyzing that now, Aiden. Whatever happened, it was a mistake, okay? I should have never been so naive. That's why I didn't want you snooping around. For fuck's sake, you could have just respected that. I'm sorry. Forget we went there. Just leave me alone. The one, what's going on? You just don't give up, do you? <laughs> you should know that by now. You should know I fucking hate whimpering. Saying how you feel isn't whimpering. Fine. Stick around if you have to, but don't interrupt me. I'm busy. You're getting drunk? No, you dork. Looking at the stars. Hey, I can see the Big Dipper. Hmm, aren't you brilliant? Except that's not the Big Dipper. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it was worth a try, though. You know any other constellations? Yeah. Frank taught me a lot about the night sky back in the day. We were building the fisheye, and I'd climb the scaffolding all the way up to the roof. Frank would come up to tell me it's too cold, too late, and whatnot. But he always ended up telling stories for hours and hours. And I love to listen. The stars are so clear, it seemed close enough. You could grab them by the balls. <laughs> Frank's way of putting it. Nice, huh? What about you, Aiden? And what about me? Do pilgrims get their hearts broken? Probably the other way around. I mean, pilgrims tend to be the love them and leave them type. Always on the move. You a love him and leave him type? I'm just pursuing my goal. Hmm. So, your constellation would be Orion, the hunter. Over there. <laughs> We're lucky to see him, because he's not there all year round. Comes and goes. Just like you, Pilgrim. You're making all this up to impress me. Maybe. Maybe not. Are you impressed? <laughs> Pretty much. So, did you meet Hakon when you were building the fisheye with Frank? He and Frank used to hang out with each other a lot. They were friends. It's a simple story, really. I was a young girl looking for attention. He didn't mind having his fun. The good thing is, lesson learned. For life. You still care, don't you? Otherwise, why make me go into the apartment? Yeah, I care, Aiden. About the person I am now. That's why I didn't want to go back there. So the weak little girl that lived there doesn't get the better of me anymore. I used to hate her. Now, I'm so over her. 
in that poem? It's just words, Aiden. Words mean things. Love's not time's fool, though rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks. Just words, huh? Yeah. Just words. Um, let's, uh, let's get some sleep. Aiden, if I see Hakon, I'm gonna kill him. Simple as that. Don't try to stop me. It's fine. But you know revenge doesn't make you feel better. This isn't for me. It's for Frank. I will avenge everyone who died that night. A lot of stars winked out forever. Hakon talks big, but when it came down to it, he bailed on his friends and they died. He showed his real face. Fucking coward. You can't turn back the clock. True. <laughs> but I can stop his fucking clock. And I fucking will. Now, yeah. good night, Aiden. Aiden, Aiden, you there? Where are you? I'm here, yeah. The one? Well, I'm glad you're alive. That was one hell of a ride in that building. And then, you just disappeared. We need to talk. It's about the GRE database you're looking for. I finally found something concrete. Waiting for you on the ship. Thanks, Jack. I'll meet you in your quarters as soon as I can. Luan? Luan, you there? Hmm. <laughs> Luan, come on, you hear me? Just let me know you're okay. Luan, you there? Luan, hello. Born today. Hey, I'm getting really worried. Didn't you listen to me? can stop them. I'm fine. Luan? What's going on? Where are you? Luan? Luan? I'm guessing your message is coming through loud and clear now. <laughs> I owe you, Aiden. I really do. Our words can now reach everyone. I don't know how to thank you. I ah, sure you do. It's easy. The GRE doctor. <laughs> of course. Always to the point, eh? Like a crossbow bolt. Ah, oh, too bad Ro and the boys would never see what they've achieved. Still, the Enlightenment campaign is working. 
And can you tell me the single most important element of an Enlightenment campaign? The speaker? The speaker is important. His voice, his charisma, key ingredients. You're referring to yourself? What matters is... Is... What already? The range. The range? What's the point of good news if no one can hear it? Wait, you're telling me that not enough people can hear your beautiful news. And that's why I need your help one more time, Aiden. Wait, what? No, I delivered on my part of our bargain. Now it's your turn. Matt, I... No. You know how hard it was out there? I know. We all appreciate your efforts, but... The doctor I told you about is hiding. Which is why you were looking in the first place, right? To find him. Matt, I... I flipped the switch on your entire propaganda... Oh, sorry, enlightenment campaign. And you can't even find one person for me? We thought we had a lead two days ago, but it was a dead end. Jack, I don't give a shit. This is taking too long. You promised. I know, son. And I intend to keep that promise. We'll send out information via our broadcast. We'll ask everyone. Everyone. I will personally ask anyone who comes to join us about that doctor. All I'm asking you is, help me boost the signal range so it reaches more people. And the search will be easier. Fuck, Matt. This is not how it was supposed to go. I know. I know, son. But our goals are aligned here, as you can see. Just... <sighs> Just tell me what to do. Thank you, Aiden. Here are the antenna positions. We have to adjust them to our frequency. And this, no more favors, Jack. The first antenna is on top of the tallest office building in the Wolf, near the park just south of Marsh End Lane. Good luck. Until today, I thought our chances against the Renegades were Dude. pretty good. Rainer's men got a huge order for lamps from Matt. You always like to surprise me, Tim. Hey, are you Leon's wife? Yes, Kyra. How can I help? At the VNC Tower, I was on a mission, and I met your husband. I came here because it... No. Hush. Hush. Look, I wanted you to... Please don't say anything. I know you're the pilgrim. I'm so sorry. He was a great man. He wanted me to give you this letter. Thank you. So this must be how the story of Squad 404 ends. Squad 404? Haven't you heard of them? They were legendary. They were the ones who helped get Frank out of the VNC Tower. They were the ones who defended the Missy when the infected got inside. They were role models for every PK. And at this point, we should honor their memory. How do you know Squad 404 so well? I was their radio operator. I heard the last blows they got. And their last words. I can still hear them. In my dreams. But that's a good thing, you know? Because we mustn't forget them. And this place, the PK should honor their memory here, just like they did with the others who fell. I know what you mean. To remember. It's our duty. Pilgrim. May I ask something of you? Will you help me? Collect them. Collect all the dog tags of Squad 404. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. You already met some of them. Fitzbowski, Chris and Lieutenant Rowe. In the VNC Tower. I already got the dog tags from the men in the VNC tower. You already know what to do. I'm sure the brothers and sister would like to be reunited.
much longer. <laughs> Thank God. Wait, where's Veronica? She managed to escape. I need to find her. Do you know where she is now? No. But we can try to contact her. Veronica? Veronica? Are you safe? Veronica? <sighs> Shit. Something's not right. Yes. I'm safe. Are you? Oh. I am now. There is someone who needs to speak to you. Yeah, Dr. Ryan, I'm Aiden. I know that you're being hunted by the renegades. Hurry, Aiden. More renegades may be here any minute. Jack Matt, he told me you worked for the GRE. The range. The range? What's the point of good news if no one can hear it? Wait, you're telling me that not enough people can hear your beautiful news.